Hi, my name is Ellie, I am one half of Tussles, and today this is a three minute trail video all about the Westmead Way. The Westmead Way is a 25 kilometer linear trail that we walked from Kilbegan to Dysert over the course of a day. It was our 23rd trail when walking all 42 of Ireland's National Waymark trails. We arrive into Kilbegan early in the day, passing their particularly pretty whiskey distillery before setting out from the village. We walk along a side road and through a small industrial area before finding ourselves on the river. From here we followed an embankment, once probably used to access the multiple mills and weirs in the area. We pass ruins of such buildings along the way. Looking at them, it's amazing to imagine what they must have been like many years ago. This section is probably our favourite of the whole trail. When we part with the river, we enter into sheep fields and small tracks before turning onto the long, straight road section up the Lilliput Adventure Centre on the shores of Loch Ennell. The centre itself hasn't opened yet for the summer season, so we pass on through. As you walk down to the lake shore, stormy clouds roll in and the sky opens for a particularly long ten minutes, drenching us and then moving on, the joys of April showers. From the lake, the trail heads to Dysert, a small crossroads, and on our way we cross some nice fields, small lanes and one or two more dirt trails to get there. At one point we share a walk with two donkeys and a Shetland pony. Shaking off the last raindrops, we come out into Dysert at a small stile in the wall. Right beside it we see a small info board that marks the end of this particular section. While sections of the trail were enjoyable and interesting, in general it felt a little bit lost and without purpose. What we walked was only half of the original trail, as some sections have to be closed. The northern sections of this trail that still exist follow the Royal Canal to Mullingar, which we had already walked as part of the Royal Canal Way. This happens from time to time with Irish trails, and it's always important to respect landowners' decisions to make sure that we can still access the trails and other parts of the outdoors in the future. All of our outdoor routes are made and maintained through a careful combination of landowner access, local building and development of trails, and the respect by those who use it. I hope someday in the future the Westmeath Way can be linked up again, and when it is, Carl and I will be sure to go out and walk it again. For more information on this trail, check out the description where I have a link to our full-length video and blog post, as well as anything else that we can find. This video is brought to you by the amazing people who support us on Patreon. It's through their continued support that we're able to keep making videos, and I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of them. This week I'd like to say a special thank you to Jen Carey, Marcus Kavanagh and Werner Lang. Thank you all so much for your support, we really, really appreciate it, and I'll see you in our next video.